South Sydney CEO Blake Solly has dismissed speculation NRL clubs will attempt to sign overseas-based sideline stars on short-term deals, saying it is not grounded in reality. Toronto's Sonny Bill Williams stepping onto the field at AJ Bell Stadium, Salford, England source, photosport with the UK Super League suspended indefinitely due to the coronavirus, Toronto's Sonny Bill Williams, Catalan's Israel Filau, Wigan's Jackson Hastings and Warrington's Blake Austin were reportedly in NRL club's sites ahead of the Australian competition's proposed May 28th resumption. Rugby stars Quade Cooper and Ben Tay had also been tossed up as targets with the code in limbo due to the pandemic. While Solly likes the idea of luring big names to the NRL on short-term deals, he can't see it happening. I don't want to burst anyone's balloon. But I don't think it's realistic, Solly told UK Sky Sports. Most clubs have filled out their squad of 30 or got 29 players. If you think every one of those players is going to be fit and ready to play at the end of May, given the break we've had, it's hard to see how you'd fit another player in at the expense of someone contracted. On top of the squads of 30. Each player has between three and six development players you call into the squad, so given the contract regulations and the financial implications of bringing in a guest like that, it would seem like it's a nice news story but not grounded in reality. Another proposed target, ex-NSW star James Maloney, has already ruled out the prospect of organizing a short-term NRL deal, saying it sounded like a headache he could do without. Catalan's playmaker Maloney is in lockdown in France with his family as he sweats on a Super League return date. I think it's probably more headaches logistically than what it's sort of worth and I just don't think it's possible, he told 2 Gigabytes Radio this week. Let's block ads. Why?